What is Enscape Render? Enscape is a program that can be installed as a plugin for SketchUp. Say for example, you made your floor plans in SketchUp, first, second, and third level. Within these floor plans you have placed components for your interiors. Say for example, our tables, furniture, and curtains are all in SketchUp. The file gets heavier, yes, but instead of exporting these to another program, let's say like Twinmotion or Lumion, where you have to edit materials there all over again, or even change the looks, here what you see is what you get. For example, when we start Enscape just by hitting the render button, we can put it in our extended screen. And once we enable this button called Synchronize Views, while I'm moving the model, the render is moving as well. Now since this is real time, you can change the quality to high, ultra or low. Whatever you add here inside SketchUp is reflected here. Let's say for example our buttons are not that shiny yet. So I go to the SketchUp file, select that material, change it to metal, M-E-T-A-L, and by hitting enter, we can see it automatically updates into a metallic, metallic material. So even without going to the material editor, Enscape understands that SketchUp materials can be metal, concrete, polished, or steel. Let's also edit that other material, let's say ceramic, like the tile, and by hitting enter, it turns glossy. That's before, and by typing in ceramic, I press enter, it's updated in real time. I made a switch to Enscape just because of the time. Imagine not being paid for quality renders and you just want to show a preview. Then if you know it's ready for revision, I'd rather spend 5 seconds rendering this. Let's try to render this by pressing Ctrl R. I'm going to show you how fast it can render. Okay. So it says, do you like to render? Yes. Save. Okay. Let's start to count. Ready? It says here, rendering image. One, two, three, four, five. And that's our five second render. Depending on the window size, the render size, and the quality, it can go longer or faster. For example, as well, we're going to our section cut. Then Enscape automatically updates the scene, so you don't have to place any section cube. Let's say you want to show your client the perspective view of the section cut. By meddling with the sun, just press the letter U and I, I can change how the sun goes al along its path. Or I can also add lights. Let's say this. I turn on my light bulbs, my lighting. These little circles are lights. Okay, so the section lights up. Let's turn it off first. This is how it looks like without the lights. So even here in Enscape, just inside SketchUp, you're already editing exposure and post-production. You can even add HDRI, your sky background, and also the brightness of the skies. Nighttime, daytime. You can change the capture size, the quality, and how about video, you say? Okay, for video, just press the letter K to bring up, bring out the video editor. Press the letter K for the starting point. K, move to the next point, K again, and click preview to preview. Now you have a real-time animation 
that looks better when exported as well. Inside each keyframe, you can also edit the time of the day, the field of view, and how long it takes. So let's say for the second view, the sun is here, the field of view is a little closer. By clicking back and pressing P for preview, we can see the real-time render. Now imagine how much time did you save. If you're using it to visualize the model that you're not sure of in 3D, then this is a lot, a lot, lot faster. By going to orthographic view, pressing my shortcut tilde, I automatically enable the white background. And in order to show the cartoon render, I just go to the visual styles, turn my outliner high to see the outlines of the drawing. And that's the cartoon render. Let's try to render. Ctrl R. Ready? Save. Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four. It's done. Okay, now if you want to share it to your client, you can also go for a panoramic view. Like, let's say, going back to perspective. So I can choose to go inside here or in SketchUp. They're both moving as well. Let's go to the bedroom. I'll choose to do it from here. So I can walk through walls. But if I want to disable that, I just press space, disable the sync, and by pressing space, I'm walking like a normal person. Let's go to the stairs, so you see it walks like a normal person, and it actually bumps into walls. It does not go through, unless you press space again. Let's say I want to start my panorama from here. From the middle of the room, I want to look around. Let me disable the cartoon render so that the outlines are not seen. By clicking on Render Panorama, this takes a little while longer because I am on, and then stitching them to a 360 view. Taking each shot in the panorama, it actually stitches parts of the render so that you can have a 360 photo view in Facebook. And that's still in real time. While it's rendering, you could actually do something here, like continue modeling. So you're not actually wasting time. Once that panorama has been rendered, go to the lowest part of Enscape called Manage, Manage Uploads, and you can see the latest panorama there straight to your computer or upload it straight on the cloud. A cloud is your online flash drive. So I'll choose to click on that, save panorama to file, and then let's try to upload it in Facebook. Going over to Facebook, I'll drag and drop 360 photo. It does not look like a 360 photo yet. Let that post and let's see if it works. Now that it has been posted, you can click on the origin or the starting point, or you could fly through around. So your clients could easy see, easily see your render without you have me having to make an animation. And in their mobile, they can zoom in and out as well. So Panorama works, it's a very, very easy, and how long did that take us? And the last and the final thing I want to show you is you could save it as a web version or an executable file so that you could share it with clients even without SketchUp. Let's say for example you want to go to the site and you don't have time to bring your big laptop or you just want to view it on the web. Just click on exe, that's an executable, and it's going to save it. Now I have made one here for you. So it's the same SketchUp file, however I remove the furniture because I want to show the client, for example, how it looks like with bare finish. 
And now Enscape opens on its own. You don't need SketchUp for this. They can actually access the same file and move around using their keyboard, just like a game. There are also hotkeys here so that they can have guidance. You can also enable outline here, adjust the exposure brightness, field of view, and rendering quality. You can also change the speed of the mouse while walking. Let's say for example our movement speed is low, so it seems like we're really walking slow. Make it higher, make it smoother, so it's like we're sliding a bit. When I stop, it still slides. Can you see my hand? There. So I can say, oh, this is what it looks like. Without the furniture, we won't provide. So even without SketchUp, you can send this over to the clients and you don't have to make an animation. Enable space, so they can actually have the feel for themselves and say, Wow, it's really nice. It's really like I'm the one looking here. So that's it for our Enscape preview. I made this video because somebody is asking me if it's easy to learn. I said yes. Actually, without going to the advanced lessons, just click on render and Enscape will do everything for you. Night mode, day mode. You can even see the time of the day. When you press letter U and I, and by pressing letter M, you have a mini map on the upper left. So that shows the floor plan based on your SketchUp model. Another nice feature of this is the BIM. I don't call it BIM motion, but if you press letter B, example this is like opened in SketchUp, you get actually information from your model. See for example right here, I press letter B, I get some BIM information, especially if I'm coming from Revit. In this model, there's none assigned yet. <clears throat> However, if I press letter C, I can show a collaboration. For example, I'm working with an interior designer, and I want them to comment on this. Let's say they click on this specific headboard, and then they create an issue. By clicking create issue, they can put a title such as change color. It's going to render the image for a thumbnail and then save. So that for example, I send this file over to the interior designer and they look at that issue, change color. Once they click on it, click, it zooms in to the highlighted part that I want to comment on. So this makes it easy for our revisions and collaboration with other allied professionals. And that's it for our Enscape for today. Thank you for listening to this uh, instant vlog render. And thank you for the architects who are asking about it. Now you can download Enscape in their official website. They have a free trial. Or if you really are desperate to get that in other means, just be careful not to download viruses. Type in Enscape and then add the word Google Drive so it's a lot safer. There are other people who share their license, but that's upon your own risk. Okay, so goodbye and thank you for listening.